Oh, it's good to see you. I never get tired of your face. I'm John Zadar. This is On Top and Hot, and it is February 6th. It's Tuesday. Now, the whole point of this show is for me to share with you hot penny stocks. Stocks under five bucks that you can find on any market that have potential to make us money. And the way I pick my stocks, I normally look for a hot chart first. A chart that has a lot of volume coming in, a breakout setup, or a strong running surge. When I find a chart that has heat, then I'll take the time to rummage through all the press releases and the filings looking for a catalyst. When I get myself a catalyst to match my hot chart, I've got myself a hot penny stock. And these are the sort of stocks I'm trying to share with you. And I got one for you right now. This is ticker NSCIF, Nanalysis Scientific Core. She has been in a serious downtrend for a long time, and today she broke out over the 200 and fell right back on top of it, looking like she's ready to break out, and she's got good cause. She's got two catalysts going on right now. They just reported record-breaking revenues, and they've got this huge contract that they've got up in Canada. So, NSCIF. She finished today just about 40 cents and almost 7% gains. Now, she's on the best tier of the OTC, the top tier, the QX, which we like to call the best tier. This is as close as you get to the major exchanges for transparency and trustworthiness because they give us all the same filings that they would if they were on the major exchange. Plus, we've got every green tick you could hope for over here. The validated information, verified profile and transfer agent. We have independent directors listed here. You only list them when you have serious intentions of uplisting, which would be a real good thing because the next tier is on the major exchange form. And we got a bonus. They're penny stock exempt. Even though this stock is 39 cents and on the OTC market, it literally and legally is not considered a penny stock anymore because they've proven to us they are not a startup company that's risky. And how did they do that? Well, the definition for penny stock exempt states that you have to have been in business for three to five years, had millions of dollars of assets during that entire time period, and kept up with your financials and your filings. They've done all that. They've proven to us we can trust them. I like this company. So what is Nanalysis Scientific about? Well, they work with nuclear magnetic renaissance spectroscopic instrumentation. <laughs> what does that mean? Well, I'm not real sure, but I know over here we've got some pictures. This is the equipment that they use and they scan a lot of stuff. They scan gas, they scan liquids, they scan solid materials, they scan the human body. They've got lots of different scanners and these are some of them and I don't know a lot about them. They do tell us though that these scanners are being used in lots of different sectors. Oil and gas, security and defense, mining and minerals, food science, cannabis, materials and polymers, pharmaceuticals and biotechs, synthetic chemistry. So their equipment can be used across a broad spectrum of industries. No doubt about that. So what was the relative volume around the company today? It jumped. Yeah, we're doing about uh, four, close to five times their normal volume from 14,000 shares up to 64,000 shares. Not a lot of share movement here, but it is an increase and that's what we're looking for. Share structure for the company. Well, we've got about 101 million shares outstanding. Insiders own about four and a half million of them. We get all the rest, about 97 million. It's not a great float, but it's not a horrible float. It's kind of average. Market cap for the company, about 38 million. What are the finances for this company? All right, they are making money. As you can see, it's been increasing from 6 million to 12 million to 18 million, and they're getting to keep over, well, about half of it, 8.2 million. Looking at her quarterlies, basically she's doing roughly 5 million every single quarter, except for the most recent quarter. They tell us over here in the news they were able to achieve fourth quarter unaudited revenues of between 9.3 million and 9.8 million. 
And when you compare that to what you got over here, that is a huge increase jumping from the standard 5 million up to over 9 million. Taking a look at that balance sheet, of course, it's going to be a wee bit old too. Money in the bank as of September, 2023, they had just under a million dollars. Total assets, 38.8 million. Total liabilities is less, just over 20 million. So we do have positive stockholder equity in this stock. The investors get to split up $18.7 million. Take a look at the disclosures for the company. We got nothing over here except the financials and they're all current, so we're in good shape here. So let's take a look at that news now. So we've got two pieces of news to consider. Most of the news here is about financials, but we've got a piece that came out on the 30th we wanna consider, and then we have the record revenue, which we've already discussed. So taking a look at the news that came out on January 30th, they tell us here that the company provides an update on security services business. The phase-in of Canada-wide coverage at all 89 designated airports is completed on January 11th, 2024. The company gives an update on its subsidiary, K-Prime Technology Security Services Businesses, and the five-year, $160 million contract with Canadian Air Transport Security Authority, known as CATSA. With the announcement of the award of the CATSA contract back in May of 2022, the company subsidiary K Prime had expanded their security business. At the time of the award, we announced there was an initial phase in period for the project. We are happy to report we are through that phase in period and are now in control of the basic service and maintenance of all 89 airports in Canada. Now, folks, I'm not sure if they're scanning people when they're coming into the airports, they're scanning luggage, they're scanning the airplanes. I don't know what they're scanning. I know that they got every single airport in Canada, all of them. That is a huge contract regardless of what it is they're doing. And initially, it is a five-year, $160 million contract. So divide that by five, you're looking at what, uh, 32, 32 million a year. That's what it breaks down to. And they just did 9 million in the last quarter. So this is all adding up. Their revenues are growing fast just as their business is. And their chart is hot. I like their chart. She's already broke out. She's come back down. You expect to come back down on the initial breakdown. And she is sitting on that 200 waiting to run. So let's do some analysis on Analysis Scientific. This is ticker NSCIF. And we are going to do our charting on my free trading platform, Thinkorswim. We are looking at a one year, one day chart with our high being a full year ago at about 55 cents. Had a long drawn out fall the entire year with one strong bounce in the middle. She ended at her low of 26 cents in January. Bounced off of that, got on top of her 200 haul and broke through the 200, falling back to the nine day and coming through the 200 a second time. This is looking good for a yearly chart. Our oscillators are very strong. Every single one of them is pushing up right now. Take a look at our six month, four hour view. So there's that strong bounce that didn't quite make it to the 200 on the yearly chart, but she made it through it on the four hour chart, but it's still way too steep to stay up there. So she came back down falling to this low of 26 and a half cents. She bounced off of that. Looks like she was bouncing on her 20 day SMA here. And it was yesterday and the day before she started her climb, pushing from 29 cents all the way up to a high of 45 before falling back to the 200, which she just broke and now pushing back up again. She is riding her nine day SMA right across that 200. And here come all the other SMAs climbing as well. Our oscillators, they're looking very strong on the four hour. Every single one of them is pushing up. The only thing we're really missing here is some volume. It's very light right now. And that 200 day SMA, it's just about ready to go level. Take a look at our 20 day, one hour view. Woo, talk about flat. She is just riding along here, right? For a whole week. And then she started pushing up. She was down here at about 29 cents, got to 45. 
fell back to the nine day SMA and she's not coming under that. And it looks like she's ready to climb right now. Actually, over the last few days, the volume is starting to grow. Oscillators, they are a little cooler than the other charts, but they are all still pushing up. Every single oscillator, a little lighter, but still positive nonetheless. Take a look at our five day, five minute. So there's our nice jump from 32 to 45, fell down to our 20, underneath it, back up with a strong jump through our resistance here at 41 cents, fell back underneath that 20, and right now she is at the 20. It doesn't look very promising on the five minute chart, but we know what's going on. Everything is pushing up right now. Every five minutes it may dip, but over the long haul, she is climbing. Our oscillators, our PPO is in neutral. Our MACD, she is going down a little bit right now, but our RSI is coming up. I actually like this company again. We've got the record-breaking revenues, which is always good. This is the bottom line with any company. How much money are you making? And then they've got that huge contract with all 89 airports in Canada. And that is a $160 million contract for the next five years. Money on top of money. That's what we're looking for. Do some more due diligence for this one, folks. I didn't dive into it deep because it was getting a little technical for me, but I like what I see thus far. Remember, folks, it's your money you're investing, so your due diligence counts a heck of a lot more than mine. The more you know, the more you're going to grow. See you, folks.